Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we solved all the questions in select part. Then we yesterday we started with basic joins. Uh, then after this, we will be working on basic aggregate functions, then sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and finally on advanced string functions, regex and clauses. In the previous video, we started with basic joins and solved this question on replace employee ID with unique identifier and tried to learn about inner join, outer joins, cross joins and their outputs. In this video, we are going to solve this question product sales analysis part one and try to learn from it. Okay, so let's jump right in. So this is the seventh question of the series product sales analysis part one. And this question has been asked in Google, Adobe, Amazon interviews over the past few months. So quite an important question. Let's look at the question. So the question reads, we are given a table called sales with five different columns, sale ID, product ID, year, quantity, price, and these being their data types. The combined column sale ID and year is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values of this table. Product ID is a foreign key, the reference column to the product table. Okay. Each row of this table shows a sale on the product ID in a certain year. Note that the price is per unit. Okay. Another table is product table with two different columns, product ID and the name of the product. Product ID is the primary key. Of this table, each row of this table indicates the product name of each product. Okay, so two tables and different information. We are asked to write a solution to report the product name, year and price for each sale ID in the sales table, right? So we learned in the previous video as well, where, you know, there was a similar language of the question. So when it says each sale ID in the sales table, so everything in the sales table on this table has to be in the output, right? So what does this signify? We learned that how to identify whether inner join is better, left join is better, right join is better, cross join is better, etc. So this language, since we need to keep everything, right? Since we need to keep everything from this, so it is better to do a left join, right? Okay. So let's go through this example, right? Order of the result does not matter. So here we have the information in sales table as well as product table. And then we need to return the product name, year and price. Okay. So just look at it, right? So we have product ID, product ID here. And the question reads that this column is a foreign key for this one. We can use the product ID to join the information because we need to get product name, year and price, right? So since the information is distributed in two different tables, right? So we need to perform a join. And by the language of the question, we already deciphered that left join is the best type of join in this case. Okay. So what we can do is we can start with it. So from this table called sales, let's alias this as S because it makes our task easier. We need to do left join of the product table alias as P, which column we are using to join because we need a link to join tables, right? So we are going to use product ID column in the sales table and the product ID column in the product table. So inner and outer joins are done using on clause and left join is a type of outer join, right? So on S dot product ID is equal to P dot product ID, right? P dot product ID. For the time being, let me return every column, right? Let's see what do we get when we run this. Okay. So not yet complete. That is why wrong answer. But let's look at this, right? Let me drag it on the left, right? So now we have sale ID, product ID, year, quantity, price, product ID, product name. So all these first five columns are coming from the sales table and the product ID and product name are coming from the product table. But we are not required to keep every column, right? We are only required to keep the product name, year and price, right? So product name, year and price, right? 
So obviously we learned in the previous video, whenever you are trying to extract a column out of a table, it is better to write the name of the table also. So what I mean by that is we need firstly, the first column should be product name. Product name is coming from which table? Product table, right? So and we alias the product table as P. So we can write P dot name of the column, right? So product name. Then after that, we need the year part both year and price are coming from the sales table so we write s dot year and s dot price okay let me go ahead and run this okay so now this is accepted let me go ahead and again dr drag it on the right okay so this is accepted if i look at our output our output is same as expected output right so let me go ahead and submit to see if it passes all the test cases or not so yeah, this is accepted. So not a very difficult question, very easy question. The only trick was to identify what kind of join we need to perform and by the language of the question, right? By the language of the question that each sale ID in sales table, we were able to identify that. We also know that inners and outer joins are doing are done using on clauses. We also identify the columns in each of these tables on which we are going to perform the join. And once we have the join, then out of all the columns that we got, we were only required to keep three different columns. One of them come from the product table and two of them comes from the sales table. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.